Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf back here with D. Thomas Campbell at the Minnetonka location. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a different test today. We've done a lot of testing with club heads, uh, but today we're going to just compare golf shafts. Uh, so I'm going to hit give Thomas a variation of I think six different shafts we have here. He's going to hit some shots and we're just going to kind of compare and uh, see how it goes. So Thomas, you know, we have anywhere from ladies flex to I think a 75 five gram extra stiff shaft here. So what would you expect to see in differences in performance out of you know that wide range of shafts? For the most part, now keep in mind this is all player dependent, but for the most part what you will find is the lighter, um, lighter golf shafts that have more flex typically will spin a little bit more and fly a little bit higher. Go all the way to the other end, the heavier, more extra stiff golf shafts should then spin less and fly a little bit lower. Okay. Maybe maybe be a little bit easier to control as well. So I may expect with the extra stiff shaft to probably be the one that I could maybe feel like I have better control on. The ladies golf shaft, I may feel like my dispersion might be a little bit off on that. Sure, a little bit more yeah. whippy, it might just have uh, more variation Correct. in the direction of the golf ball for sure. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it here. Uh, golfers out there again, um, if you like this video and you like the information that's presented, feel free to give us a like and also subscribe to our channel. We'll have a lot more content like this in the future for you. All right, Thomas, we got a Ping G410 Plus, nine degree yep. head. We'll use that for every shaft here. And then I'm just gonna kind of randomly give you the different shafts. So we'll try and make this as unbiased as possible, I suppose, and try and keep you swinging the same way. Uh, I will say that we'll, you'll be able to identify the, uh, the lady's shaft when I hand it to you. But uh, from there, we'll just have you swing, you know, probably four times with each one, and then we'll kind of look and see what we notice. I will do my best to be as robotic as I can. Obviously, I'll probably notice when I have a ladies golf shaft in my hand, <laughs> but I'll do my best to try to swing the same every single yep. time. Yeah, so. all right. All right, let's start you. Going for the middle. Yeah, I'm going for the middle here. Let's see what, what we up. got here first. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, let's see, we've got the 55 gram regular flex. Okay. Yeah, so we're also kind of expecting more right to left or left to right ball flight generally with a lighter to more flexy shaft, or is that not necessarily the case? Once again, it's player dependent. Okay. I can't guarantee that something is going to sure. definitely happen. For me, when I have played with a shaft that's got more flex, so like a regular or lighter golf shaft, I've had a hard time turning it over because I have a quicker okay. transition. And then club head doesn't really get a chance to catch Got up. Got it. So if a quicker transition, a higher torque shaft, I okay. have a trouble getting turn it over. Now with someone that has a slower transition, uh, maybe a smoother tr tempo, I'm going to say most likely they're probably going to miss it a little more left. Okay. Yep. So it does depend more, not just on the speed of the swing, but the take or the transition and the tempo of the swing yep. also matters a heck of a lot in the. It's all player dependent. Okay. That's why it's important to come in and get fit and discuss all these. Okay. Um, essentially everything yeah. with your fitter because not one person swings the same way. Got it. That's also a little right. Huh, that's fine. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't necessarily struck the best probably, but uh... yep. So you'll notice with the regular golf shaft, I was favoring kind of the right side. Yeah. For me, I've always had a hard time with the softer flex to get that club face squared up because I have quick transition and that face just okay. essentially stays open. Gotcha, yeah. okay. All right, I've got the Ping Tour 65 gram 65 extra X. stiff All right. shaft. So we're going from regular to... All right, so 65X. This is kind of more in the ballpark of what I play with my yeah. driver as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should be. There you go. 
That one's nearly dead straight. Yeah, that was that was it pretty solid that one. This is gonna be pretty similar. Sixty-five pretty similar. gram stiff shaft. Okay. Oh, produce a little bit better for like uh, the spin. Yeah. Like 25, 2400. 2400. It's a little better. All right. Well, let's uh, get to our next shaft here. I'm going to go from stiff to a 55 gram senior flex. Yeah, a little bit of higher flight there. That's 140 feet, which is, I mean, even from stiff to that, stark difference in just the height of the golf shot. That was the highest ball speed that I have had all day, 168.2. Really? Oh, yeah, but it, obviously the spin was a little higher, so that's why I didn't go as far. That's high in the air. <laughs> yeah, a little bit higher, a little bit spinnier. Yeah, that one's pretty straight though. Yeah, that was pretty straight. I'm definitely willing to bet that this has probably spun the highest out of all the shafts. I would imagine so, so. Yeah. All right, well, no secret here. This is the uh, <laughs> ladies flex we'll go to here. All right. That one was a little bit more of maybe what we would have expected, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's in. a little bit more what I would have expected there. But as you're noticing, really, with none of these, I really have lost that much distance with either of the, any of these yeah. golf shafts, so. Distance is pretty competitive. Well, lastly here, we have 75 grams extra stiff, so it's the heaviest shaft. Interesting. Well, I just want to ask now, you know, did you notice anything in terms of feel throughout that as we kind of went from obviously a lot of different shafts, flexes, weights, is there anything that you noticed from a feel standpoint other than obviously like, oh yeah, this is like clearly heavier, this is clearly not flexing like it, like a, a different shaft? I mean, I could definitely notice it with the, um, the ladies golf shaft and the senior flex. Those two felt like they just had a lot more width to them for yeah. sure. I think I was able to generate a little bit more speed with that, if that mm -hmm. was the case. Yeah. The ladies driver didn't quite have as much club speed, I think, um, because it was a little shorter. Yeah. But I think the senior at the standard length, I think they might have given me the fastest right. club speed. Yeah, today. I think you were swinging the yep. senior flex the, sh the fastest. Yep. I think that's a lot largely because it was still the same length and it was obviously, you know, 10 or in some cases 20 grams lighter than the other shafts you were hitting. Yep. Should we take a look at some numbers and just kind yeah. of see what really happened here? All right, Thomas, uh, we got the numbers pulled up here. I think you actually took an outlier out kind of from each one just to get, you know, the accurate representation of um, the performance of different shafts. So uh, what are the big takeaways here? I think the biggest thing I noticed was the spin rate. Um, I was trying to 
see if there was that general trend for the lighter golf shaft, lighter, more flexible golf shaft mm -hmm. having more spin to the heavier, more stiffer golf shaft having the least amount of spin. I think five out of the six were, were accurate with regards yeah. to that kind of that flow. So if we, for example, take a look here, the women's and the senior golf shafts, notice the spin was 2,500 and 2,600 essentially. So those were the two highest spins of them all. So those are the lightest, more flexible golf shafts. Yep. The Ping Alta CB Regular, 2,400 spin. So that was just a little bit less spin. Um, then we kind of dived into the, when we look at this extra sti sorry, the stiff flex, which was the only outlier in here, Yeah. was the one that was spinning at 1,600. Um, but the other two extra stiff were 21 and 1,900. So five of the six shafts that they tested generally had that Okay. That order of more flexible, lighter, more spin. So that's what we kind of okay. noticed there. I'm curious to see at the height and see if that also is the same as well. So we notice the women's and the senior, the senior flex, they were quite 133, 137 feet in the air. Um, and then regular was 130. Um, and then uh, we will notice some smaller numbers here with the extra step 113, 123, and 91. So generally, mm -hmm. generally speaking, for the most part, those golf shafts were flying higher, spinning more with the lighter flex. Um, they were flying lower and spinning less with the yeah. more stiffer flex. And then, I mean, one thing I noticed too, even just looking at the dispersion chart, looking at the numbers, the distance overall was pretty similar across the board. Um, you didn't really lose a ton with uh, a certain, you know, shaft, uh, especially as I know you like to sort of maybe pr prefer carry distance over total distance. Um, and carry distance especially was pretty similar. You're losing uh, a few maybe with the stiff shaft just because there was a few of those. Uh, you maybe had a couple of knuckleballs in there yep. uh, that kind of dropped that spin. But overall, the carry distance uh, across, I mean, you had the exact same carry distance from your women's shaft and your 65 gram extra stiff. So overall, I mean, in the carry distance and really the total distance, pretty similar. That's just the way sort of the ball got there. Exactly. Uh, is the difference. Yeah. yeah, 280 with the Ping Tour 65S was the carry distance. That was actually the lowest distance because, like you said, it was more knuckleball, yeah. flying a little lower, to 288 with the women's flex and the extra step. So yeah. notice, that's really interesting to take a look at that. The women's and the 65X were actually flying the exact same distance at 288. So separated by eight yards with mm -hmm. all the golf shafts. Um, however, I find it more important to pay attention to the dispersion pattern. Yeah. So yes, they were getting there different ways, yeah. but at the end of the day, I already know that I play a, I play a kind of a 65 gram, my, my golf shaft weighs 66 grams um, golf shaft. Okay. We'll notice the Ping Tour 65S and the Ping Tour 65 extra stiff golf shafts we look at the colors on this map right here, purple and yellow circles, they were the smallest. Yeah. So I was able to get those more in the fairway essentially and fly a little bit straighter. Yeah. So with the driver, it's very important to find obviously something that goes far, but in the day, hitting the fairway mm -hmm. is the most important goal for right. me. Oh yeah. Um, we notice the lightest golf shaft, so the woman's notice the orange circle that was the widest circle. Yeah. And the other end too, we've got the, even the he two heavier shaft for me. 75 was also pretty wide left to right yeah. as well. So we kind of found a good spot to be with me yeah. around about 65 grams. Just found a way, different way to get there. Yeah, that's I think the big takeaway is that, I mean, like for example, the women's shaft, it might be you know, the fastest way to swing, right? You were that one or the senior shaft, both you were swinging, that was the fastest. Um, and then that kind of generated that extra distance for you. Whereas yep. with these, you know, the extra stiff or the 65S even, um, you weren't swinging as fast, but the lower spin kind of helped the ball carry a little bit farther. So it does kind of depend on the player, like we said all along, uh, not only in the swing, but also what you're looking for. Because some, some guys uh, or some golfers might, you know, spin the ball a ton, right? And they need lower spins. So they might be put, need a shaft that might be yep. a little bit heavier than they're used to or, or a little bit stiffer, right? Or maybe there's a golfer that does not spin the ball at all, needs extra spins. So maybe they need to play something lighter, maybe play a senior flex shaft to get that spin up and carry distance a little farther. So it does depend on the player, obviously, which is going to be a fit. But for you in this instance, if you're playing a 66 gram shaft, 
and it's not really a surprise to see the 65 gram shafts kind of perform the best, give you the, the smallest dispersion. Exactly. Um, if we take a look at club speed, because there's obviously the theory out there, the lighter the golf shaft, the faster yeah. you can swing at it a little bit here. Um, we'll notice the senior and the woman's 114 and a half, 115 mile an hour. So that's going pretty fast right there. Um, extra stiff was 114, uh, 112, and 113. So technically, yes, the woman's um, and the senior shaft did give us the highest club speed, but we'll obviously pay attention to the dispersion and you'll notice that mm -hmm. with the women's it was kind of left and right and with the senior it was consistently kind of over there to the right side there as well too yeah so interesting um i also touched on kind of torque the higher torque golf shaft normally i i might leave the face kind of a little bit more open on if we look here the regular which is this white circle the senior which is the kind of the blue circle here um, and the woman's much kind of larger dispersion we notice has that trend of kind of hovering down the right hand mm -hmm. side. So I had a harder time with that 65 gram stiff and extra stiff shaft. I didn't have it, I was able to hit that straighter too. Yeah. So I was able to turn that thing over a little bit easier. And we'll notice the 65 X, the yellow, we've got those three little yellow dots that were pretty yeah. close, just kind of left of the center line there too. Absolutely. So keep in mind, yes, the distance with you know, these golf shafts are all very, very similar. They got there in different certain ways. Essentially what I'm saying is golf shaft, it doesn't quite matter as much as the club head matters. Mm -hmm. So important in fittings, and this is why in a fitting process here at Second Swing, we always, always test the loft, the driver head first, get that all figured out, figure out which driver head is performing the best with the same golf shaft so there's no bias. Mm -hmm. Then we experiment with the golf shafts a little bit from there and see if there's a golf shaft out there that's going to work better for someone. Okay. End of the day club head is really important to get right first then dive into the golf shafts and then maybe chip, play around with the lion goal and bolt biases a little bit to see if you can maybe get a little bit extra out of it mm -hmm. yeah thomas this is some great information here kind of a look at um you know how the the shaft can impact really uh you know how your driver performs you know in some cases the distance might not necessarily change a ton but it will change a ton and the performance and the accuracy depending on the spin that you generate, if whether you have too much or too little for the shaft you're playing, you can see the differences here and how that could be uh, affecting your, your golf performance in a negative way. So Thomas did a great job hitting a bunch of shots for us to, to illustrate that. Uh, once again, if you enjoyed the information and the content here, uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel. And we'll, again, we'll have a lot more content like this in the future. So Thomas, thank you for hitting the shots today and providing all the information for us. Not a problem.